Northport versus Venice. <laughs> In this video, we are going to talk about why we would rather. We're going to fight <laughs> about <laughs> Venice versus Northport. Northport. Ready? Let's do this. Oh, and before we jump into it, if there's any other cities in this area, Venice, Inglewood, Osprey, Nokomis, Northport, Sarasota, those are the main ones that you want us to do another versus video about, and, and she can maybe take Venice on another one, <laughs> uh, drop a comment. Let us know which ones you want to see go head to head. You go first. Okay. So if you don't know where Venice and Northport are, they're both along the Gulf Coast, Southwest Florida, and Venice is far <laughs> superior far superior because it's right on the ocean. Northport, it's probably gonna be about a 25-ish to 30 minute drive. Venice, we're in a very short drive. I will say it's under 10 minutes. The reason why I think Northport is a great place to be is because you can get a much better house for your money. You are not as close as Venice to the Gulf. You're not as close to beaches, but you're still only a 30 minute drive. So you can still technically, if you wanted to go to the beach, you could still go to the beach every day. It's only a 30 minute drive, maybe even less, 20 to 30 minute drive. Um, you get a nice house, big house, and you're not overpaying like you are in Venice. Not a guarantee you're gonna get a nice house. And there's a lot more to do in Venice. You got all the shops in the downtown area, ice cream places galore, which who doesn't like ice cream? You've got some of your more big box stores and whatnot in Venice. You got some of that in Northport too, but you got more shopping in Venice. Plus, plus you're a lot closer to Sarasota, which has a ton of shopping. Yeah, whatever you get on the highway is probably like 10 more minute drive, if that. That's 10 minutes. On the highway. That's 10 minutes of my and, life I wouldn't get back. And every time I go yes, there. Yes, Venice does have a lot of shopping in the downtown, but those shops, they're great, but they're like little shops. It's not where you would go and get your clothes or where you would go and get like, you would not. Have you ever bought anything from those shops? You have. I bought earrings, by the way. You have, my mom has, and. Have you personally bought anything from those shops? Not yet, but I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> There's this place downtown where everything is $10. There's two of them actually. And it's all like Venice themed and beachy clothes and like hats and stuff. Yeah, I would get something from there. But if you need to go to like a party or something where you need to dress up, where would you go downtown Venice? I would get some of those Venice clothes to represent because Venice is classy. <laughs> Much classier than Northport. Not that Northport's not classy, <laughs> but I'm just saying Venice is the real deal. Italian style. The whole city, the, the downtown, gorgeous Italian city. Oh, oh, I'm just getting started. Sharky's on the pier. You got Sharky's on the pier. with You got restaurant right by the beach. You got the whole pier going all the way out to the water. And here's another fun thing in Venice that's not in Northport, the jetty. You can walk out the jetty, which if you don't know where a jetty is, apparently we thought everyone knew, but we didn't know until we moved here either. It's like this pier. It's kind of like a pier, but it's more just barely above water level and it's just black top and then all the way out and stones the side. It goes out probably 100, maybe 200 feet into the water and you can literally watch dolphins swimming right past on the right and the left of you and out a little further. Mm -hmm. So Northport, where, where's their jetty? Where's their pier? In Venice. You don't have to live in Venice to still enjoy all of that. And in Northport, you're still close to Punta Gorda and Port Charlotte, which Port Charlotte has all the shopping. Northport also has a lot of shopping of like actual big box stores where you would go and get clothes, not like little shops where you get souvenirs like Venice has. Oh. And you can still enjoy all of that for a lot less money in Northport than in Venice. And you have a big backyard like in, Nor in Venice you don't. You couldn't possibly get some of the big backyard in Venice. Number you could, one. but you're going to pay for it. <laughs> but worth it. Hashtag worth it. Number two, in Venice, you're going to get a lot more communities with sidewalks, which for people like us who like to walk the dog, I would much rather be on a sidewalk. Northport and have a little, has planned communities as well. But not nearly as many. sidewalks. Not nearly as many. It's harder to find a uh, house with a sidewalk. And that's just Florida period. Yeah, but Venice is the exception to that because there's a lot more sidewalks. Which because is, you have HOA communities. Not all of them though. Mm -hmm. Not all. 
A lot, but not all, to get your sidewalk. And when it's a much more enjoyable experience to, to walk with you or your kids or your dog, and you don't have to worry about traffic as much. And in a lot of the communities in Venice, you're going to get a pond or a retention pond of some sort or a river in your backyard in a lot of areas. So there's a lot of wildlife. Northport has that but, as well. But not as many. And you get a not lot of wildlife in Northport. Yeah, there's a decent amount of wildlife, but not as many of like the birds and stuff that like to hang around the ponds and things like that, the fish, the turtles. They're there, don't get me wrong, but there's an abundance <laughs> of them. Here's another con to me about Northport. Yes, it is a little more spacious. You get a little more space in your yard and whatnot, but because of that, and there's not like any condos or apartments or anything, it takes a long time to get from one end of Northport to the other. You can spend about 20 minutes getting from one end to the other just because it's so spread out. That's true, but it takes about 20 minutes to get to downtown Venice as well. 15. 20. With high traffic. With high traffic. If about you're coming 20 from minutes. the edge, one of the edges, north, south, yep. east. So that's not so that bad. So it's still. 15 minutes ain't bad. And there's like businesses to see on your drive and action going on. Northport is just mostly houses. Okay, here is a, uh, a con about Venice. No, there's no such thing. <laughs> Not that I'm against it, but um, Venice is a town where people come for the winter snowbirds. We have a lot of snowbirds here. So during winter, we have a lot of traffic and a lot of slow moving traffic. You don't see that as much in Northport. So if you're someone who is looking to move to this area permanently, maybe Northport is not a, such a bad idea after all. Northport does have a lot of snowbirds too, though. Yeah, they do, but it's not as much as Venice. Like, Venice is known for that. That's because Venice is so awesome that a lot of people want to come here. Well, let's, let's agree to this, maybe. We have videos of Northport and Venice. We'll link some of them below, and you guys can check them out for yourself. And you can decide, or if you've ever been to either of the areas, leave a comment. Let us know what you think if you, you know, if you don't have to watch the videos, if you've actually like seen the areas. Or if you live in the area, or if you live in them. let us know which city you prefer. Yeah, but you know what the right choice is? <laughs> Northport. Venice. And if you're looking to move to the area, contact me. I'll leave my information in the description box below. I am a realtor here in Venice. And Northport. And Sarasota. Anywhere in the area she can help you. And Inglewood and Nokomis, Nokomis. Osprey. There is a lot of little towns around the area that you don't really hear about. Be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications to catch the newest videos. 